Yeah. Yeah, YouTube Nation, what is happening? <laughs> you get an apologetic maverick. Yeah, you get an apologetic maverick. Because I guess what? Apologies are in order for the entire YouTube family. Entire. Everybody. Round them. For the absence of the maverick for the past one. A couple of days. I to each couple of weeks. <laughs> My sincerest apologies for going missing in action here on this platform. But you know me come here now with the explanation for me. For tell, for, like how every family keep the thing in the family and explain what we want. Me will explain what we want over the past couple of weeks. All right. Now, first of all, you know, say the big World Cup finals have won in Qatar. Big World Cup. Exciting World Cup. Arguably the most exciting World Cup we've seen ever. I won the Qatar right now. And my station will be affiliated with TVJ. We don't have the rights for the, for the World Cup. And none of the competing station, CVM, have the free to air rights for the World Cup. But my station, TVJ, being the top station in the nation, we have our own post game analysis show. Every game day, we have a panel and we have an analysis and we have a run through the games and we look preview the games for the following day, etc. etc. You know that's something. Like that. A World Cup thing, you know, so a big thing, you know. And that that thing me final whistle every game day on TVJ Live. Now Maverick have a little segment in the final whistle where me are the man we designated to go out in the street and go out in the community them and kind of put me, me finger up on the pulse of what go on with the World Cup in the communities and in the various areas in Jamaica. So me I enjoy myself. I might think that you know me glad to go out the road and interact with the people. Them. So that are my role. We have a little thing named the Maverick and the Go. So every evening in the post game analysis on TVJ, the Maverick out there in the streets. And that people believe it or not. It's five minutes. We link live fine after me go out there and interact. We make a live link to the studio, to the panel and we give them an update from where we did that day. Day to day, we can't go anywhere. We can't end up anywhere. We don't really plan or something. You know? We just touch the road at the time and say, maybe see what I go on the streets. And anyway, it look like, say, we can't give them a report, but we just, that are the concept of the Maverick on the go. Because the Maverick really literally on the go. You know, that's something. You know? Had a lot. Well, having lots of fun doing me, still and waiting for a semi final day to day, we are going on the road shortly. <laughs> you see what I say? We are going on the road shortly. So, people, believe it or not, that consume a lot of my time because that particular link up. Take place every match game at about sometime after four because the post game show the final whistle start at, at four. So, you know, that time of the evening, I will be normally have time to do my other stuff, but because of the obligation for this World Cup coverage, I you know we have spent a whole part time on the streets and we can just go up on the streets, go do the five minute link, you know. We have to go up on the streets before and it takes a little time when you're when finished now. Fit. So, you know, the thing I've been busy, long and short, the World Cup had been busy. I know the World Cup never really had much break until I think it reached the last 16, you know. We must get one out of the last eight. So it was football every single day for about 15 or 16 days, you know. Anyway, we did a semi-final now, so that kind of cool off now. So we only have three more game days. Semi-final today, semi-final tomorrow, and then we go now. Final, of course, and I think we have a third place playoff the day before the final. That I one thing. The next thing now is that Coincided now with the World Cup coverage where the Maverick can take part in now. Me, me, there's a big party named Skanking 22. <laughs> the party that keep December 10, which happened to me my birthday. You know? Me never promote it as a birthday party, but it's a party we keep on my birthday. Skanking 22. Go on good to a say big up all of the people who turn out come represent and bless up Skanking 22. It was a bomb. Black. Yeah, man, people them enjoy themselves. The people them turn out and them numbers come bless up the thing and them enjoy themselves. So, the World Cup are going on, the promotion for Skank in 22 are going People don't take it simple. It's a party promotion, a full time. So, when you see them people out there keep them party and, and do the leg work and that all the eyes and cross all it is, it's not an easy thing. <laughs> you see? I don't know, well, Skank in 22 is still on the third, on the third edition of it, you know. So, it's not a new party, you know. When it started before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, and then now when we plan to run it out back again, the COVID hit it and shut down the place. So we really run it out back now this year. Yeah, after the COVID, now we run it out in the summer. 
and then we run it out back in December again. It was so I'm um, saying the date drop on my birthday, but as I said, we never really promote it as a birthday bash. We never really do the birthday bash something. I want to say on the night in the party, some of the people have actually find out to me on my birthday because a lady come in the way to have a birthday the Thursday. And when she come in, she, she hug me up and say happy birthday. And some people here as well, one of the select of them here. And say, Maverick, your birthday to this Come in, we really have it as a birthday party. We just have it as a party, which happened to be on my birthday. Anyway, that's a one thing. And in addition to that now, see, we also have me. My regular responsibilities been up on the radio morning time and in the evening time we have a little TV slot to prepare for and present. So you don't know, so long and short of it, people, the reason that I was away from YouTube for a little while is because I was rather busy. We needed a clone of myself for continue. <laughs> I no excuse still, we could have make time and come talk to them occasionally. But it's not that long, it's just a couple of days we jump off. Huh? Yeah, but I'm back now. And with the, with the party being gone, Saturday, and then now with the World Cup winding down, World Cup are finished this Sunday, I come here. Um, the Maverick will be back at your full disposal. <laughs> and speaking of World Cup, Brazil are my team. Everybody know that. Brazil are my team. But Brazil, you see, unlike previous times when Brazil dropped out of the World Cup, even 2018 when they dropped out of the World Cup, I mean, they bitterly disappointed. You know, I'm not overly disappointed with the Brazil team and exiting the World Cup. I'm disappointed with myself for being lured into believing that this Brazil team was all that. The Brazil team had all that, you know. Too much waste man on the part of the Brazil team, yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You have some man on the Brazil team, and no deserve for the part of the winning Brazil team, for the winning World Cup team. I'm not lying to you. If Brazil didn't win the World Cup with people like Fred, Paqueta, who else again? They have a wing back, they don't even know my name. Was it Danilo? Eh? So the man that's a waste man, man. And then the coach is a waste coach to turn out to be a waste coach though. Yeah. How can you be playing in a World Cup quarter final? You lead one love in an extra time, you know. 90 minutes on an extra time you're playing and you get the goal. And you maintain the lead up to about two minutes before the final whistle, you know. Semi-final, you're going to the big World Cup, you know. Where you know with 20 years, you know, Brazil, we are talking about, you know. And you're in at this quarter final and head to the semi final with two minutes to go with a lead thanks to the individual brilliance and Yemar. And the Brazil team get caught out on the counter attack. Croatia break on them and them a back pedal and a run breathless and try to run on the Croatia and them. No, man. If you make that kind of cardinal mistake in a World Cup quarter final, you don't deserve to go in the semi final. So we're more angry at the Brazilian and them now than disappointed. Plus, again, as we say, in hindsight, I look at the team and all this hype and talk about this Brazil team are coming at this World Cup as a favorite and them can't lose and blah. I trick them trick me, man. Trick them trick me. Brazil on the midfield. Brazil on the midfield and Brazil on the wing back. Which Brazil team ever see successful without midfielders who can play football? At least keep possession of the football. And without wing backs who are always integral to the Brazilian philosophy of playing football. Brazil have some wing back when they are neither fish nor foul. They can't tackle, they go fast, they can defend, and they not good pass in the half line. They will never the field. Alone. This Brazil team has not deserve to win the World Cup. I don't like him. I'm sorry for Neymar. Because Neymar is a quality baller. And I'm sure he's quality even in the last game when they get eliminated. But overall, the Brazil team, I don't know. Teacher, the coach, did not try to reinvent the Brazilian football wheel. Brazil not play football without wing back. Brazil wing back them always a personality. See, if you go to Capu, Roberta Carlos, go back to Carlos Alberta Pereira, go back to Leon, Leonardo, go back to 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 what do you want to do to Leandro? Eh? The Brazil wing backs are always integral to their to their attacks. Tita structure this Brazil team with a whole alright, if I'm fair my whole pal, you know, fairly good wingers. See? So because he have the good wingers, apparently now he stopped being wing back them from, from joining the attack for giving the wingers freedom. So he basically segment the team in a defense and attack and nullify midfield play. And it backfire. It don't work. <laughs> it could have worked, you know. Because if it worked effective, efficiently, you know, he would have win that game against Croatia and go in at the semi-final and probably it would be a nice match against Argentina. It's a match of world that wait for. But anyway, long and short of it. Me die back again. 
Medea, Medea, yes, Medea again. Medea, Medea, yes, Medea again. <laughs> again, my sincerest apologies for my absence. So many things happen in you know, the time when I don't talk to you on YouTube, YouTube family. But here, I catch up with them. Some of them may get back at you. Some of them issue them gone, but they have forgotten. You know, in the meantime, and between time, though, just check in and just tell me if you understand the explanation for my being absent from the space for a little bit. See, but we don't go no way. <laughs> Check it. <laughs>